Where are you taking me? You were out of coffee. We're sobering you up. What if I don't want it? What if this is all I am? Listen, man. You're getting your coffee, and I'm getting my story. It's a story for a newspaper that nobody reads. Listen, uh, Jimmy. You not even pay me. Don't call me Jimmy. You wouldn't understand. You couldn't understand. Why does this mean so much to you? I came here like anyone who comes here, desperate and pathetic, hoping to fulfill some fantasy like the saddest of people, like a herd of cattle just following each other blindly off a cliff. I wanted to be a stunt driver for the movies, but I didn't know how to drive, never have. That's why Michael tagged along. Hey, I'm Michael. I needed to do something. There was a girl who told me about a job. She said to me, I can tell by how you fold clothes you'd be good at walking dogs. She was hiring, but I had to turn it down on account of my allergy to dogs and walking. There was a man who stopped me one day to ask if I had a sister. He swore he'd just seen a woman who looked just like me. She had to be an identical twin, he figured. He confided in me. He felt he now understood the concept of love at first sight. He was so smitten by her. I joke, what about love at second sight? But he didn't laugh. He looked lost. He said no other woman could ever do it for him the way that she did it for him. He left, and I was there wondering about this unknown woman. I considered the life she could potentially be living. I imagine all of this and don't think it's fair to be hindered by my inability to drive or by my dog allergy. I picture this unknown woman's life and I'm over here doing what? For what? I met a man named Emmerich through a friend hiring writers for his online magazine, this magazine. I initially thought about turning it down because I know it would require a lot of typing and I suffer from really bad carpal tunneling. But I said yeah because I so desperately want to make something out of myself. I told him I wouldn't let him down. I'm not letting you muck this up. You know, I'm taking in everything you're saying. And I think you should write about yourself. You've got a really great story. <laughs> I'm sorry, but who would actually read that? That's what I was thinking. That's <laughs> the dumbest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> All right, come on. Stop digging around. Hey, so I'm going to shoot straight with you. None of this is really any good at all. Um, I've just been going over the article and it just, it's just not good. I'm sorry. I've just suddenly come to realize that this city is not for me.